Hey everybody, it's B. I wanted to make this video because um, I've been thinking, uh, would it be helpful or useful or something for me to post a little video like earlier the day of my streams to let people know that I am streaming or not because I'm not sure if that would be helpful or just annoying um, for people who don't care about my gaming or don't care that this is what I'm doing I mean I'm not saying that you guys all don't care I'm just saying that I'm that it's like some of the other YouTubers I watch. Okay, yeah, the YouTubers I watch that usually do that are huge, huge YouTubers. Um, but I was just thinking maybe it would be helpful. Maybe it would help you guys to know that I am streaming um, at this time uh, and what I'm streaming uh, video, video game wise. But that's just a thought. I've been reading a couple books, a few books, and I've been enjoying reading my books. I've missed reading books, um, but it's like at the same time, reading my books means I have less time doing other things, and so it's like trying to balance all of that stuff. It's kind of getting kind of confusing and a little stressful for me, but in a good stressful, not like... I'm going to lose it stressful. Oh, and it's been extremely hot here. Like, extremely hot. And it's like, I can't, I'm like, I don't even have to be outside very long before basically I have no energy. It's like, it's bad. So it's like, I, I just don't want to go outside. I, I don't want to go out in a hundred and something heat. I just, I want to stay in the house. Oh, and the other thing is, well, I shouldn't say it. the other thing is, um, I've been having a fit about wanting to play Pokemon Go. I have no devices that can play Pokemon Go, which makes it so frustrating for me. It's like, I want to be out doing Pokemon stuff with other people, but I can't because I don't have P Pokemon. Like, I, like my phone. I have a phone. I have an iPhone. And I have a tablet. None of them. None of them can play Pokemon Go. And I'm like... Seriously? I have th three devices. None of them work for Pokemon. It's like I literally have to get a newer phone for me just to play Pokemon. I'm like, that that is just sad. That is, that is really sad. But it's like I'm watching all these other people have so much fun on YouTube. And like I go see my I see my sister who has friends who has phones that have Pokemon on and she goes out and has fun with them and it's like I caught blah 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 and I'm like but but I wanna go mm. and see I don't actually care about Pokemon. It's just the idea of actually going and seeing other people and talking to other people about something sounds exciting because it's like meeting strangers in a safe zone, in a sense. Especially if you have friends with you, and you guys all are just kind of grouped together, and you're c catching Pokemon and fighting uh, gyms and stuff like that. You're in a safe place where you guys have something somewhat in common, and you can just have a conversation with someone without having to think up something to have a conversation about. You can have a talk about Pokemon, and then then start talking about something else because Pokemon is basically the intro to having a conversation with that person because I mean it's easy it's easy to talk to people like in your in high school or in school in general because you have you, you're like what class are you in you know you can start conversations about that you it, it's really hard to start conversations in the real world when you really don't know that person at all and you have like you have no clue of anything in common at, at all so it's like you, you can't go oh I see that you're blah 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 you can't do that because usually you don't see anything except that they're there and usually some people don't want to start conversations with you it's like eh. but I want to start conversations with you 
because you're here. But that's just how I am. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I got into this TV show called Shepherdstown, uh, Ghosts of Shepherdstown, and it's about a town. I know it might be a fictional, like not, it's a real place, but a fictional story or TV show based in this. Uh, but it's like it acts like it's an actual like maybe reality TV show that um, the chief of police in this town has called in has put together a group of ghost hunters to go investigate calls because they've been inundated with so many calls of paranormal related things that they're like okay we we are a small town we don't have that many police officers and we're fact that we're getting so many calls of things that have nothing to do with an actual crime and it's taking up a huge amount of our time for our police officers we'll just actually make a squad a ghost squad to take care of the ghost squads and so basically that's the basic like story of the town of TV show and I really enjoy it I mean it is slightly weird it is slightly weird that it's like why has not every city in this country that has a big enough population who might have to deal with ghostly things ever hires you know people to check it out to make sure it isn't cuz like there's probably other cities that have people call in like every other night going, there's someone in my attic, and sooner or later people stop, like they start ignoring the fact that it could be a ghost. Yes, but what if f one time that it isn't a ghost, it is actually someone up in their person's attic. But because that person has heard that noise constantly from the ghost or a, ha or a uh, residual haunting, the fact that the police probably won't turn up is a is sad thought because it's like this lady is like, I mean, it has nothing to do with the show. I'm just thinking, like, thinking of an example of why maybe other cities in the United States need to look into it. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. Sorry. I'm spitting everywhere. So... Recently, Fallout Shelter has been put on to the computer, um, and I'm playing it. I'm like extremely happy about it. Um, I've been waiting for it to come back to come out on PC since they announced the fact that they were going to put it on PC, which is hilarious. Um, I'm just trying to think of things to actually talk about here. Um, because most of the time I've been playing um, Minecraft, and that's not really, uh, really, it really hasn't been pulling people in. Because I thought maybe the people who have been coming and watching me play all these other games might show up uh, when I'm playing just Minecraft. Um, and I haven't seen people. And a lot of people are claiming that the um, messaging, the notification uh, thing isn't working. So they're not getting the announcements. And I'm like going, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to tweet at the um, at Bean people and go, hey, um, my, uh, like, nobody's being notified that I am streaming. Um, uh, of my little group of people I have, uh, should I be worried about this? But at the same time, it's like, what if it's just them? Or what if it's just my thing and has nothing to do with Beam at all? But I, maybe, maybe I need to, maybe I do really need to tweet them. Maybe I should just tweet them and say, has anybody else been having... Uh, announcement problems or whatever it's called um, or yeah but I'm just I just feel kind of sad because I've been streaming for the last two like 
every like it started last week. So for my last couple streams, I have literally not had anybody in my streams. And usually I at least have one or two people. And it's been extremely weird. And then I found out, well, I found out the most important thing to do when you're a streamer. Networking. I'm still, I still don't understand the whole networking thing. Because I'm just one of these people who are not very good at, I'm not a social butterfly like some people. Some people have that built in or they've learned how to, like, really be social and stuff. And it's just, I'm not. And it's slightly hard to, to, to deal with. Um, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. I swear. <laughs> um, so I just started this book I, like, got. Uh, Saturday uh, called it The Ghost and the Goth and I love it. It's hilarious. Uh, it's like I feel so sad for like we have two main characters. One's a girl, one's a guy. The guy, I feel sorry more for the guy than the girl who is dead because the girl who was dead was this popular girl who basically had like didn't give a crap about anybody else except the people in her tier or her social group and the fact that the poor guy the guy hears and sees spirits which suck for him i mean because everybody thinks he's crazy which he's not he just sees ghosts that doesn't mean you're crazy it just means you have to deal with a lot of shit um sorry anyways but it's funny because now the girl who was popular gets hit by a bus outside of school and the only person who can see her is someone she calls a freak and a loser um, when she was alive. So I'm like, if I was that popular girl, first of all, I would learn how to be nice real fast. Because it's like, hello, the only person who can hear and see you is this person. You need to, whatever. But at the same time, I probably would, I probably would have never been and I have never been a popular girl or a pop in the popular clique. Um, first of all, it's probably because, yeah, I'm not the most good looking as person in the world. But at the same time, I am not that shallow. I could be shallow about some things, but I don't give a crap about makeup. Or I don't give a crap about my hair. I don't give a crap about m uh, my body <laughs> in the same way they do. And so it's like, I would probably never be popular, ever, ever. So it's like, eh, who cares? But it's like, at the same time, it's like, yeah, I know every, and like, in the story, it shows that sh her life isn't perfect as everybody th thinks it is. But yeah, I know everybody's life has a little bit of crap in it. That's how it is. I mean, but most of the time, if they pretend nothing's happening or nothing bad is happening, and the fact that they shut everybody out of their lives to go, I'm so popular, I'm so beautiful, I have a perfect life. That's all anybody else knows is that you have a perfect life, that you don't have problems. And so it's like, uh, she she assumes, oh, because, uh, because, like, because you think I'm perfect that I'm not. Well, the fact that you pretend and you work hard because like uh, like because we see both of like both of their sides we see her thoughts and his thoughts and she's like i work so hard to get where i am i'm like why did you work so hard none of it matters like seriously none of it really matters like the fact that you've been prom queen for three years in a row, ooh, wow, who freaking cares? None of it matters in the long run. I mean, the only thing that really matters is that, yes, maybe she's good at, like, like getting people to do whatever she wants, but the fact that, like, in the book, it shows that none of her friends were actually her friends. All of them were like, whatever, she's dead, ha. Huh? Like, that tells you something, doesn't it? That everything you worked so hard for was all fake. 
It wasn't real. It wasn't solid. So it's like, yeah, my brain, my brain hurts when I read this book because it's like, I feel bad for him. And it's like, I don't give really a crap about her, even though I'm supposed to give a crap about her. It's like, I can never give a crap about her. And it's not because, not because she was a popular, beautiful girl who died. Uh, it's more like the fact that even as a ghost, she is shallow. She is shallow as a ghost. You should have been... I I believe that you're supposed to be enlightened and to see what you did wrong and the fact that you did these things were wrong and it doesn't seem that that's happening in the in this book very easily. Um which I I I'm I'm almost done with it actually. Like Okay, so I'm almost done with it. See? I have... I don't know. I'm past the halfway point for it. <laughs> it's... It has... Let's see. How many... How many... That's 281 pages. I'm, like, halfway done with the thing. It's hilarious to me. Um, for some reason, it's more attractive than this book I'm reading right now that's called Ghost Slayer, and it's um, a little bit uh, a little bit more adult, because that's a high school. It's, like, young adult high school. This The other one I'm reading, this one right here, um, is a little bit more adult. Um, it's basically about a lady who was an accountant but then her aunt died and so she inherited her aunt all of her aunt's money and her aunt's gift which because she thought her aunt was a little crazy would never talk to her very much um didn't know the fact that when the person who was gift whoever is gifted in this family dies it gets passed on to the next generation and that if you don't accept it, you'll go crazy and die. So you literally have no choice in the f if you want it or not in this um, in this story universe. Because I know for a fact that's not how it works in in somewhat real life. That's not how gifts work, if I understand right. Um, and then the other thing is that for her, she can only work between a certain time periods. Hers is um, 1850 to the 1900s. So any go anybody who's died between those two periods of time, she can only talk to and see. She can't talk to and see anybody else uh, in the, beyond, the, 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 beyond that. Which I think is really weird, because I know for a fact when, or I know for, like, the fact that lots of, like, what I've heard from other mediums or ghost communicators or whatever you want to call them, uh, that they get ghosts from all time periods, all, all kinds of different ones. So, I mean, the, uh, the storyline in this one is not as believable, I guess, it would be what I'm trying to say, but they're all really good. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to look for more books uh, by this author who is write, writing the ghosts and the goth because it, she's a really good writer. I think it's a she. Um... Give me a minute. Yeah, Stacy. Yeah, Stacy. Okay, I don't even know. I'll just put down the author and the name and the link to the uh, Goodreads page for it and the Goodreads page for the other one for you guys to look at. Um, but I just wanted to make a rambly 
bloggy kind of thing. Because I, I, uh, I'm thinking, not in yet, I, uh, yet, I'm thinking about um, actually crocheting more because I kind of miss crocheting and, you know, so my streaming might not be as, uh, as structured as it, 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 it is because I might be cutting it down to two, two days a week instead of three like I've been doing because I've been extremely exhausted and so I'm thinking not streaming more than two times a week are the only things I can really do without exhausting myself even more but we'll see what we can I can do because I would like to stream more but I really don't have the energy for it. Um, okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I will get all the information in the description below. Um, if you if you see this blog and you really want to subscribe to my channel to see more maybe of these or video game things or whatever, uh, subscribe, like, Comment, please. Thank you. Okay, bye.